Mike Spiker, Emerald Valley Florist, and AB Nice. And so we've been a flower shop for 60 years. 60 years this month. Our right. family started over on Avenue J in Lancaster. And for a long time we were the FTD brand. We paid for that franchise or that brand. And we were a brick and mortar, mom and pop type of operation, small business. Uh, but the internet came along, internet shopping came along 24 7. Customers are living across the street, calling Chicago for me to get a discounted order. And, and the world was changing for the flower business. Jim Greenleaf came in, couldn't make it today because he's resorting someplace. And uh, he was kind of a salesman, and he, he came in several times. I tried to dissuade him, but eventually, he said, let's get involved in this social networking. Let's cloud compute. Let's use social nomics to build your business, the little flower business. So it kind of boiled down to let's make a video. Every week, let's make a video. And it started about flowers, and it kind of went into what's going on in our area. Content, that's what the, that's what the internet looks for. Those spiders go through the web, right? looking for content, looking for stories, looking for stuff that isn't just a big advertisement. And so it turns out after four years with Jim Greenleaf, we've made almost 300 videos. Lots of board of trade videos. Who's seen a video? Mm. Stories, lots of stories, dozens of stories where somebody said, were you really in that canoe in Minnesota? <laughs> it's just stuff, it's content, but people get to know you and then they, make other, you know, maybe they make a buying decision, maybe they make, well, I'll watch another channel. Uh, but these videos are out there forever. They're clean, they're tagged, they kind of point towards what I do for a living. But in the meantime, everybody's footprint increases. So as we went along, I should say also that making the videos got me out of my box, got me excited about my vocation, got me excited about life. It's pretty cool. As we went along, we found that uh, people were watching. It was really the best <coughs> form of promotion, marketing, education. That's what we dumped FTD. We didn't need to join a club to get attention. And so we got rid of FTD. I, I got the emblem off the front of the store, and I thought, I'm going to put another emblem up there. And every year I make a trip to Minnesota, and they have something called Minnesota Nice. Minnesota Nice. It's like where people say, I'll carry that canoe for you. How come? Minnesota Nice. You had lunch yet? What do you have? Gorp, Minnesota Nice. And so I thought, you know, the Antelope Valley needs something like that. They need like Lancaster Nice, Bombay Nice, Antelope Valley Nice, High Desert Nice, AV Nice. And so I thought, what is AV Nice? It's, it's really about civility. It's about the way we talk about ourselves. It's conversation. There was a city manager in Lancaster one time, and he said, you know, you come here, and the old timers are the hardest on this place. They talk about this, they talk about that. It doesn't sound like they're very happy here. Go, wow, civility, how we talk about ourselves. So AV Nice is nice people, nice stories, and that's what we push. And so, you know, really, it's about you. It's really all about you. How can AV Nice link with the Board of Trade. You know, how can, because this is a regional organization. I mean, we get that. It's a regional organization. It's the whole area. So how can we find the positive stories, tell the positive stories, and do that together? I guess I'm looking for like a link, or at least to educate you on what we're doing. So like, it's nice. And Jim Ledford gets this idea that it's a biofeedback thing. Like we used to put rubber bands on there to bring us back. <coughs> so on a recent video at Stemposium, Ledford got kind of goofy and started slapping it. Yesterday at the Camille's opening, a couple of people from Lancaster were snapping their bands. And I thought, okay, tick, tick, tick. You know that 10,000 monkey reaching in the coconut. <coughs> Critical mass. I, you know, there's, a, there's a similarity there somewhere. So <laughs> think about how um, AP Nice can help the Board of Trade. We've done lots of videos at some of the events, and each week, you know, we're meeting cool people because now people want to be in front of the camera. So, questions? That was five minutes, I hope now. I got a lot of oatmeal to eat, so. Do you see the size of that bowl? Yeah. 
you're going to have a reputation. So AB nice. I still sell flowers and plants. That's how, that's the goose that lays the golden eggs. But you know, we have time to get out and tell stories, and it, it keeps me involved. And now there are reporters that say, oh, you need to go over and do this, or you need to talk to those guys over there. Lots of cool stories. It's very positive. Are you having people send you videos of their nice stories? Or? Uh, yeah, there have been a couple suggestions. Mainly it's like, go out and do this. So oh. I'm at a wedding yeah. in Ventura, and the photographer there has a pair of the Google Glasses. They're in beta testing. And Laura says, oh, that guy's got Google Glass on. So we interview him. He's talking to us, we're talking to him. We got his video, he got our video, and it's back and forth. So that goes into his world. He's a big guy down in Newport Beach. And now he's like, somebody made a video about me with my glasses. Some guy in Lancaster. Who knows? Remember Hewell Hauser? No, no. Laura said, don't tell this part. Yeah. Hewell Hauser. I'm even wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun to go out and discover. And that's that's how people are going to find us, is in discovery. I mean, we're doing big things. This is an amazing place. That's all I got. You have some videos on our Facebook page, don't you? About Fort yeah. Drew. You've yeah. interviewed Post several of us. Outlook Conference. Yeah. You know, sometimes those talking heads are kind of boring. But, you know, they're neat people and they have amazing things. Some of them are. <laughs> Who's not here? Lou Stoltz. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. That's a <laughs> but you know, it's it builds believability, especially if it's only two minutes, just like a presentation at breakfast, short and sweet. Have fun. Enjoy the band. Thank you. Thank you.